This pandemic poses a threat to all our lives. So what will 2021 look like with vaccines, variants, and restrictions? But with summer approaching, people are itching to go on vacation. Obviously, the safest option is to stay home, but is there a way that we could get the best of both worlds? Can we stay safe and travel at the same time? I'm not mad, I'm just surprised. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get it done, no matter what country you go to. I'm excited, y'all. Today is the day. Today is the day we launch. So I'm going to get my COVID test, and I'm not really sure how it goes, so I'm, we're seeing how it is to travel during quarantine. Come join the journey with me. So today's now Thursday. This is the day before I leave for Guatemala. Let me break this down into four simple steps. Step one, find the travel regulations for the country you want to go to. Every country has different regulations. I found a website from JFK that gives you every single country's travel restrictions. It's a nice interactive map. You could zoom in, click on your country, and it gives you all the restrictions right there on the side. In my case, Guatemala needed a PCR test three days before arrival. Antigen tests or rapid tests were not accepted. A lot of places like when I went to City MD, they said they were gonna take about five to seven business days, so I couldn't do that because Guatemala's restrictions say that the COVID test has to be within three days. I'll be able to get the test once I go there. Exactly, that's correct. All right, all right, thank you so much. No problem, have a nice day. You too, bye. Step two. Find a testing center that gives you your results within the time frame your country needs. So the clinic I'm going to is called Adams Health Services. It's in Terminal 1 JFK. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. If you wanna go there, if you're in the New York area, you can get your PCR tests in about eight hours. They say, if you don't live in the New York area, I'm pretty sure there's clinics near your airport or in your airport that offer the same service. I recommend just going on Google and literally type in three day PCR test near me. That's what I I did to find the one that I found at JFK. So let's go. I don't know what he's doing. I'm good, how you doing? I'm good. I stayed at the Crown Plaza the night before I travel and it worked out because they provided free shuttles back and forth to JFK, so I didn't need to worry about paying for an Uber. About to go do the COVID test now. As soon as you walk into JFK, go to the far left and the COVID testing center is right there. But as I arrive, <laughs> I got some pretty bad news. I'm not mad, I'm just surprised. When I went to the airport, the COVID test ended up coming out to $200. I didn't plan to pay that. I didn't know it was gonna be that much, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be anywhere from 40 to 50, but that was my fault because I didn't call ahead of time to ask them how much it was, but it ended up being $200. So it was one of those things like, you didn't budget for it, but it's like, uh, all right, well, I just gotta spend this 200 because that's kind of the last resort. There's nowhere that I can get a COVID test and it would be ready for tomorrow for me to travel, so. Within about eight hours, my results got sent to my email. The plane seemed like a ghost town. It was completely empty and I had the whole road to myself. So I felt very safe and comfortable. country yet and um i already saw some as we land in they had the, like these nice red lights on all the buildings can't wait to see what what it holds as i'm walking through the airport i'm thinking i'm and i'm i'm wondering like what what possessed me to do something like this i'm not gonna lie i am a little bit um i don't know what to expect i don't know what to hold on a little bit um nervous but I'm gonna have courage. I'm gonna be courageous and, and 
can get this done. Uh, I think they're checking COVID, COVID stuff now. Before you even enter the country, the staff checks your COVID tests and then they take your immigration form and stamp it to say you're cleared to enter the country. You walk through these big things that look like metal detectors, but it's actually a temperature check. So my driver, Wilder, just messaged me. He said, voy en conmigo. He's on his way. So he said, 10, 10 minutos. Yes, minutos. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> Hello there. What's up, man? I had a lot of fun spending time in Guatemala. I actually didn't want to leave when it was time to go. I met some pretty dope friends that all do some pretty cool things. And my driver Wilder helped me out along the way. This country is truly amazing. I heard a lot of negative rumors about it beforehand, but definitely going there to visit changed my whole perspective about it. If you want to see my full trip and exactly what I did in Guatemala, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I post that video. Step three, find a testing location in your country. If you go to the U.S. Embassy's website, there's a list of every single country in the world. Just select your country and they will give you even more information about COVID guidelines for that country. And they would also give you testing locations that you can go to in that country. And they also tell you how much it costs. Once you find your testing location, most countries have Uber. So you could just take the address, put it right into Uber and they'll bring you straight there. And don't worry, Uber and other countries are super safe. It's just like America. The drivers have to create profiles and Uber has to approve them. This website was super useful and that's how I found Blue Medical in Guatemala. The US accepts antigen tests as well. You don't have to get a PCR test. So since the antigen test was cheaper, I decided to get that one. It was only 295 quesales, which converts to about 38 US dollars. So it looks like the place where we were supposed to get the COVID test, it's not where it said it was for some reason. So we tried to schedule another appointment, but we're gonna have to go later, like 9.30, which is cutting it close to my flight. So hopefully my driver knows what he's doing. <laughs> so he said 9.30 should be fine and it happens quick and I should be able to get on my flight still. But I'm kind of winging it right now, guys. I'm cutting it real close. So, and I'm not doing it purposely. It's just, that's the way it's panning out to be. We got to the testing location and it wasn't the easiest task. If my driver Wilder wasn't there to translate for me, I don't think I would have gotten through. So definitely make sure you can either speak the language or you have somebody with you who can translate. Worst case scenario, use Google Translate. The forms I had to fill out were all in Spanish, so me and him busted our head trying to figure that out. We finally got through with it and we're on our way to the airport. Which brings me to our last step. Show your negative COVID test at the gate before you get on your plane. Now I'm at the airport and about to catch the flight back home, but hey, Guatemala is muy bien, perfecto. I loved it. And um, I'm about to actually have one of the local beers right now and get some food.